Hello, welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you here with us this week. And before we get going, we got a couple of ground rules that we always like to go over. The first is that we encourage everyone to contribute, to give your ideas, your stories, your insights, such things as that. But we also want to make sure no one dominates the conversation. So we want to make sure everybody has equal opportunity to share. Also, we start on time, we end on time. So once the group's over, let's stay respectful of the location we're in and make sure that we end on time. That being said, we're gonna jump right in to our first question, what drives you crazy? So here you go, it's a chance you can air some of your grievances. I'll tell you something that drives me crazy is people who drive and don't use their turn signals. You know, they're, they're merging, they're changing lanes, they're they're turning, they're, but they're never hitting the little blinker. It's like, imagine that. You could turn and you could notify everybody what crazy decisions you're gonna make. Imagine an invention like that. Yeah, it's called a turn signal. You just go up and it points right, you go down and it points left. So anyhow, <laughs> that's something that drives me crazy is people who don't use uh, turn signals. But what about you? What's something that drives you crazy? Okay, next question is this. We're gonna read the uh, verses that we talked about this week and talk about whichever one maybe stands out to you. So I'm gonna read through them and then we can take a few moments and comment on that. First one's 1 Corinthians 8, uh, one through two. It says, but while knowledge makes us feel important, it is love that strengthens the church. Anyone who claims to know all the answers doesn't really know very much. Next is James 1, 22 and 23. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it's like glancing at your face in the mirror. Next one is 2 Timothy 2.15. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. Next verse, 2 Timothy 4.2. Preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. So let's take a moment and discuss maybe which of these verses stood out to you, maybe something that really stood out to you uh, from one of these verses. So we'll take a few moments now. Next question, share about your favorite teacher or something that someone taught you. Well, my favorite teacher in school was a lady, her name was Mrs. Buxton. And I was in second grade and she was a great teacher and I uh, just loved her. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess she was a good teacher. She was always just so sweet and kind and caring. In fact, she's the teacher that helped me to realize that I had poor eyesight because she'd write things on the chalkboard and I would always walk to the front of the class and get right in front of the chalkboard. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, you asked me to read this and that's how I had to read it. And she's like, you know what? I think you're having a problem with your eyesight. Anyhow, Mrs. Buxton was a, was a great teacher and probably will forever go down in my mind as the best teacher that I ever had. So uh, how about you though? Uh, share about a, a, your favorite teacher or something maybe that someone taught you. Next question is this, tell about a time when you taught something to someone, when you taught something to someone. Or right now, I'm in the middle of teaching uh, my daughter how to drive and I've never taught anyone how to drive before. And so this is just an interesting experience trying to verbalize the things that we just do each and every day. And so, uh, so I, I love teaching in general, but this has been, uh, been a little bit of a, of a challenge for me, teaching her how to drive. But, uh, but how about you? Have you ever taught somebody something? How did that go? Was it good, bad, indifferent? Like wh what was your experience of teaching someone something? Okay, out of the five gifts in Ephesians 4, 11 through 12, so we get the apostles, the uh, prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. Out of those five, which do you think that you are most like? And so share about that. And then, then I want to give the group an opportunity to say, like, does the group agree with this or not? Or maybe what group, what, what, what does the rest of the group, like what, what gift do they see? So the rest of the group, you can call out other things in each person if you want to. So this should be a kind of a fun interactive time of saying, hey, here's a gift I think I have. And then people in the group saying, yeah, we agree. Or you know what, I think you're more of this, that, or whatever. So anyhow, have fun with it. And uh, let's do that now. Okay, we're gonna close in prayer. I believe there's power in praying together. So I'm gonna encourage everyone to take a few moments and pray. It doesn't have to be fancy or elaborate. Just say a few words of thanksgiving to God or something that you're grateful for. And, uh, and then the next person will go. And then once everyone is done, then the leader can close up in prayer. So again, thank you so much for joining us this week at Thrive Groups. And we can't wait to see you next week.